Hello again. Guess what? I've got a new book. It's fantastic. I just read it. I'm going to read it to you. It's called Too Many Ducks. And it's written and illustrated by Heidi Cooper Smith. The blurb on the back says, Too Many Ducks. One morning, Alexander woke to find a duck waiting for him. As more ducks arrived, Alexander's life overflowed with fun and affection. However, as his new feathered friends filled the house, it became clear that there were simply too many ducks for one small boy to handle. Too Many Ducks is a whimsical story about appreciating what you have before it's gone and working out how to make things right when friendship seems lost. So that's the back of the book. And there's the front of the book. And this is one of those great books that I love. And when you open it all out, it's one big, big picture. There's lots of things I love about books. These are the end pages at the front. And there's lots of photos of Alexander and ducks. Let's what finds, find out what happens in the story. The title page, Too Many Ducks. On Tuesday morning, Alexander opened his eyes to find a duck staring at him. Can I help you? asked Alexander. He knew ducks didn't talk, but was disappointed all the same. Imagine waking up with a duck in your bedroom. That would be weird. The duck followed Alexander as he went about his day. So he's having breakfast. Looks like he's leaving for school. Playing on a tire swing. Catching the bus. Reading a book at home. And the duck's with him all the time. Looks like Alexander has a new friend. He even followed Alexander at bath time. This turned out to be a little bit awkward. Because mm, Alexander has a rubber ducky in the bath. I wonder what the real duck thinks about the rubber duck. On Wednesday morning, Alexander woke to find six ducks staring at him. He knew better than to ask, because we all know ducks can't talk. Oh my goodness. They're sharing his breakfast. And carried on with his day. He's playing soccer and the ducks are happily playing with him. And look, they're all in the bath with him. But this time the rubber duck is on the floor. Wow, that looks like fun. <gasps> on Thursday morning, Alexander had to wade through the ducks to get to the kitchen. Oh, too many ducks, he thought. I think Alexander's right. There are a lot of ducks there. Wow. There were no bowls left for breakfast and no breakfast left to fill them. Too many ducks, he muttered. Too many ducks indeed. Gosh, that is a bit quackers. <laughs> he tried to catch the bus but couldn't afford all the tickets and he had to walk in the rain. Too many ducks, he grumbled at the puddles. Well, the ducks don't look upset though. I think they actually like puddles. Oh, wait till you see this page. Worst of all, no room left in the bath. Oh my goodness me. Look at that bath. Chock a block with ducks. Alexander can't have his bath. My gosh. Too many ducks. He 
shouted, pointing at the door, and one by one, the ducks filed out. Oh. And the ducks look a little bit sad. I think Alexander had enough ducks. On Friday, there were no ducks waiting for Alexander. But I do like he's got some a beautiful picture of a handprint and duck webbed prints, beak prints, and lots of little photos. They might be the same photos that we saw on the front end page. There was more than enough bowls for breakfast, and he had a whole seat to himself on the bus. But Alexander now looks sad. Maybe he's feeling a little bit alone without his ducks. Without the ducks, there was plenty of room for Alexander. That night, he lay awake for a long while. Hmm. I think Alexander is missing all those ducks. By Saturday, he had a plan. He worked all through the day and into the night. What could he possibly be doing with pipes and a rope and a mat and a sprinkler and a bucket of water? On Sunday morning, Alexander woke to a whoosh and a splash. Let's find out. <laughs> Look what Alexander had made. A sign saying ducks welcome and the ducks having a time of their life in a pool, playing in the sand, down a slippery dip, on a slip and slide and with a special pipe sprinkler. Oh my goodness, what fun. <laughs> the chickens, however, were becoming a problem. <laughs> wow. And here is the last page. Alexander is friends with both the duck and the chicken or the chook and here are the back end pages the same as the front wow this will be a great book to borrow when you come back to school hopefully next term gosh i'm missing seeing all your smiling faces all right i'm gonna go and find another book to read i'll see you soon <laughs>